Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the management of primary amenorrhea. And the management of primary amenorrhea depend upon the cause. So one by one we will discuss the management options of each group of disorder causing primary amenorrhea. So how to manage a group of patient with a primary amenorrhea along with a short stature and absent secondary sexual characteristics. First of all, we will discuss the treatment for achieving the height. In patients with hypothalamic pituitary dysfunction, the height is achieved with human growth hormone which is given in the dose of 0.2 microgram per kg per day first. Then what treatment will you provide for uh, the development of secondary sexual characteristics. Initially, low dose estrogen at the dose of 0.1 milligram ethanol estradiol is given twice daily for three weeks every month for several months. Once secondary sexual characteristics develop, the patients are started on combined oral contraceptive pills as HRT. How to do the management of fertility prospects in them? Ovulation can be induced by using human menopausal gonadotrophin injection. Fertility prospects are extremely poor in patients with Turner syndrome and mixed gonadal dysgenesis and they are made sexually mature with a low dose estrogen and then given combined oral contraceptive pills as hormone replacement therapy. The gonades in mixed gonadal dysgenesis are removed as the risk of malignancy arising from them is about 30%. So in patients with short stature, primary amenorrhea with absent secondary sexual characteristics, if they are having hypothalamic pituitary dysfunction and hydrocephalus is diagnosed, so that is managed by pediatric surgeons. The most common treatment for hydrocephalus is the surgical insertion of drainage system called shunt. The craniopharyngioma is managed by surgery, radiations, and chemotherapy. The panhypopituitarism is managed by HRT. Among the patients with ovarian failures, we have group of disorders like first of all Turner syndrome, and that is managed by high dose growth hormone and estrogen therapy. Secondly, mosaic Turner. The treatment of mosaic turner is with recombinant growth hormone which is given in the dose of 0.375 milligram per kg per week divided in seven once we once daily dose with or without oxandrolone now the mixed gonadal dysgenesis is managed by hormone replacement therapy and gonadectomy depending upon the level of gonadal insufficiency now, what are the management options in normal stature along with the primary amenorrhea with the absent secondary sexual characteristics? So, for the treatment of developing secondary sexual characteristics, initially we would give low dose estrogen 0.01 mg ethanol estradiol that is given twice daily for three weeks every month for several months. Once the secondary sexual characteristics develop, these patients are started on combined oral contraceptive pills as hormone replacement therapy. Now, how would you do treatment of pituitary adenoma? The pituitary adenoma may require the surgical treatment. Now, how would you do the treatment of true gonadal dysgenesis? The patient with a mixed gonadal dysgenesis are made sexually mature with a low dose estrogen and then given combined oral contraceptive pills as hormone replacement therapy. How would you do treatment of patients with XY genotypes? These patients would require gonadectomy. Now coming to the management of patients with the normal secondary sexual characteristics, like those with anatomical abnormality would require the surgical reconstruction. The patients with androgen insensitivity syndromes are managed by vaginoplasty plus gonadectomy followed by combined oral contraceptive pills as hormone replacement therapy and fertility is not possible with androgen insensitivity syndrome. Coming to the management of resistant ovary syndrome, the resistant ovary syndrome patient may respond to combined oral contraceptive pills followed by ovulation inductions with clomiphene citrate and fertility is restored. How to do the management of a case of polycystic ovarian disease? The vaginal resection plus laparoscopic ovarian drilling is done in such patients followed by ovulation induction with a clomiphene citrate. Now, how to do management of a case of heterosexual development? 
like we have a group of patients with congenital adrenal hyperplasia they may respond to steroid therapy and the fertility is restored with a clomiphene citrate how to do the management of ovarian and adrenal tumors the ovarian and adrenal tumors need surgical resection how to do a management of a case of constitutional delay if no cause is found on detailed evaluation and the patient doesn't want to conceive the treatment can be delayed up to the age 20 when a spontaneous menstruation starts in most of these patients okay so we have to do counseling that wait up to the age 20 because sometime the um, amenorrhea is delayed up to the age 20 in these patients so spontaneous menstruation may start in most of these patients so that brings us to the end of my presentation i would like to complete my presentation with this quote you don't get the results by focusing on the results you get the results by focusing on the actions that produce results so focus on your goals as the big results require big ambition so thank you so much wish you best of luck allah Hafiz.